my channel. Sorry the lighting's a little off. The sun is setting. Um, I wanted to sit down and chat with you right before we dive into the lookbook because I just wanted to explain. Uh, thank you guys again for tuning in, subscribing, liking, sharing, celebrating life with me. I love fall and I just wanted to give you some fall videos and I hope you enjoy this. So I am going to be doing a Hocus Pocus inspired fall lookbook. And these are also a very cute DIY Halloween costume approach if you want to be the character at a Halloween party or event. So stay tuned. These are going to be very, I guess you could say the word Disney bound that I would wear, to be honest, I would wear these out. So starting with the first one. For the first outfit, I am going to dress up as Allison. Allison is very simple. She's got the brown cardigan, a white t-shirt, and jeans, and straight hair. We also have a very similar necklace, so this is a very everyday fall look that I would wear on a normal basis. So next we have Danny. Red, warm tones, and the only thing missing is hmm, a hat. There we go. Now the outfit is complete, and this is definitely Danny. This is more of a DIY Danny look, but you could wear it as a fall outfit. Tied it up with red stockings and witch boots. Next we have Max Dennison. <laughs> Max Dennison wears a blue shirt with a white undershirt underneath, a pair of jeans, a bomber jacket, and a baseball cap. I decided to wear mine backwards. Now you gotta tie it all together with a bomber jacket. To tie it all together, might as well light the black flame candle. Don't you say we torch this sucker? Here we go, stepping into the first Sanderson sister outfit, I am going to be wearing Winnie Sanderson. Winnie Sanderson's colors, I stuck with their color palettes. Winnie wears dark forest green with some essence of purple, so what I'm going to be wearing is a green long sleeve shirt with a green coat with a hood. Leader sister, so I felt like the pants really tied that whole thing together. Be gone. Sarah Sanderson. Sarah is the girly one of the group. Palette is more magenta, purple, pinks. So I stuck with wearing dominantly mostly all burgundy, maroons, and purples. I gave myself a crop top and skirt to give it more of a sultry, girly vibe. And of course, she has her hair long down with the waterfall curls. Muck, a muck, a muck, a muck. Mary Sanderson was actually the hardest one to do because Mary has a very unique outfit. She has the warm uh, tones that was easy to put together, but Sarah has a very funky hairstyle and she wears two different kinds of plaid. It very clashes, so she has a red shirt with an orange sweater on the outside for the represent the sleeves and then to tie it all together with her two kinds of plaid, I wore a plaid skirt. That was the best way I could wear this outfit without clashing, because this lookbook is something you could wear and fall on an everyday basis. Winnie, I smell children. And I hope you weren't thinking I was gonna leave out all the characters. Thackeray Binks, cat form, so I wore a long sleeve turtleneck shirt tucked into my ripped black jeans, tied together with a black belt, with thigh high black boots, a choker, and cat ears. And a leather black jacket. What was really cool about this jacket is I got a thrifting, and it just so happened to have a cheetah cat print inside. So I thought that was pretty fun. I was like, oh, what are the odds? This has a cat cheetah print inside. But the whole point of this is supposed to be a lookbook that you wear on an everyday basis. So we're gonna take off the choker and the cat ears and voila. A fall outfit you can wear out and about. No, 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 I was talking so much the sunset and there's no sun anymore. <laughs> well, I could turn the light on, but I'm just gonna finish out the video like this. <laughs> so, comment below uh, which outfit you like the most and who is your favorite Hocus Pocus character. All right, stay spooky, guys.